Did he cry? I don't know. I was crying a lot. I said, though, okay, it's emotional. But doesn't it give you a moment to kind of talk about your love? And it prepares you a little bit for now what's to come. Oh, what a glorious day. Glorious. So as Chloe's older sisters, we've had a front row seat to all of Chloe's milestones. But one of the best things we've gotten the pleasure of watching her do is fall in love with you, David. Big sisters aren't easily impressed, and it was going to take someone very special to be a match for our Chloe. We knew Chloe really liked David when her usual super sassy, can't hurt me attitude was a little more often replaced with nervousness, and we knew that we loved David when our baby sister bloomed into the kind of deep happiness you only see on a person who has found someone that truly respects and admires them. Most of you probably don't know this, but I do have to take a big chunk of credit for this love story because 12 years ago, yes, 12 years ago, um, I was a senior in high school and Chloe was an eighth grader and I invited her to go to a wrestling tournament, my friends and I. Chloe was so excited. She picked out an outfit, fixed her hair. So we're sitting at the wrestling tournament and I casually turn to Chloe and I'm like, you should date David Kocher. Growing up, girls really did like David. It's hard to believe, I know, but they did for some reason. I remember one time there was this girl that told me she loved him. She wanted to marry him. I like, well, kind of laughed and thought, good luck. David doesn't really like girls. Um, he's more into Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon cards, as far as I knew. But I, get, I gave David the number. Anyway. Apparently they talked and they went on a date. I think they were only in like eighth grade or something. But David really flushed that opportunity down the toilet. Literally, he dropped his phone down the toilet and never ended up getting back to this girl. He didn't know the girl that I'm talking about was Chloe. I guess she really wasn't joking when she said she really wanted to marry David. So even though you guys haven't been together since the eighth grade, it's clear that you were destined to find your way back to each other. When David first told me about his girlfriend, Chloe, he came up to Sioux Falls and he wanted to get together to catch up. So we get out to eat and he's telling me all about his new girlfriend, Chloe, and how amazing she is. And how he thinks she could be the one. So I finally asked David, well, how long have you been dating Chloe? And how come I haven't heard about her before? Well, we've just been on the one date last night, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess when you know, you know, so... <laughs> and congratulations, you were right. 8-2022. A day we have waited for, prayed for, and anticipated this final year. My heart has always known that it was you. You are the most selfless, strong, and hardworking man I know. And you constantly make me want to be a better person. Chloe, I vow to support you, love you, and be with you all the days of my life. Knowing love is much more than a feeling. I promise to love you on the good days and the bad. I'm prepared to sacrifice everything I do for you and for our family. I hope that our babies are kind like you and funny like me. Today is the best day, but I can't wait for the everydays. David's steady love is a perfect complement to our Chloe shooting star energy. We hope you often get carried away to Chloe's Milky Way and that David is always a place where you can both put your feet back on the ground. It's so overwhelming the amount of love that we've, Chloe and I, have seen today in the last two to three weeks. I mean, it's unbelievable this doesn't just happen overnight. I mean, absolutely amazing happy for the great day we got here today, happy for all the people that were here to celebrate with you. I, I, I think true happiness is knowing your kids have turned out to be good people. It's me. <laughs> Will you cry? I'll cry. <laughs> I don't all right, cry. I won't cry. Why do we cry so much? <laughs> You're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Anyone who knows our Chloe knows she has always been the life of the party in our family. 
out with friends or at work when you're with Chloe, you know you're going to laugh and you're probably going to end up dancing. You have a deep loyalty to the people you love, a strong and thoughtful heart, a wicked sharp sense of humor. You are clever and romantic and eternally cool. The thing I like about these two is they work hard, they play hard, they always do the right thing, yet it's hard not to have a good time with them. David is sweet and kind and happily helpful. He is modest. You'd have a hard time getting to know. David is an all-American wrestler, a skilled entrepreneur, and a hottie biscotti. And you might think it's weird for Kate and I to point out that our brother-in-law is a cutie patootie, but it cannot be overlooked because Chloe reminds us a hundred times a day. The thing I'm going to miss most about David moving out is Chloe's meals on Tuesday night. They're deep down good people, and I'm proud to call them my brother and sister. So let's have a toast to David and Chloe. We love yeah. you guys so much. So let's raise a glass. So we're going to raise our glass, toast David and Chloe to many years of happiness. As two rocks made to fit together, I pray the waves of time find us closer and closer together until we are truly one.